a beloved president of the United States and a great American, Dwight D. Eisenhower, General Light. I should like to note that when our founding fathers in the Declaration wanted to explain to the whole world the reason for this revolution, you'll recall they said a decent respect for the opinion of mankind impelled them to declare the reasons which led to the separation. And they started off this statement of reason. Do we hold that all men are created? Created. And are endowed by their creator, in capital letters, with certain unalienable rights, and among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, my friends, right there, when those men meeting in Philadelphia and writing the Declaration wanted to explain to the world how we had a right to make this kind of a revolution, carry out this kind of revolution against the mother country, they said, because we were given certain rights by our Creator, proving, in my mind, that our society is a political expression, a political expression of a basic religious belief. Well, the last time that you were here, General, when you flew in by helicopter to the San Diego Country Club? That's right. Well, there was a, uh, all the mayors of all the Americas were here. Uh, we uh, certainly would like to have you come to San Diego more often and know our city. <laughs> well, I'd like to do Southern that. California is playing a very important role in your life now, is it not, sir? Well, yes, every winter. General. Yeah. General. Uh, the uh, Freedoms Foundation is, uh, plays a very important part in your life uh, also. Uh, well, I'm could you have the board. Uh, could you tell us what the significance of the Freedoms Foundation is to American life? Well, it's scarcely the place to do it here because it's a very big subject. But they're trying to te teach good citizenship. That's a big thing. That's all. Go right ahead. Okay. What's your reaction to the welcome you received in San Diego? Sir? I thought it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I uh, can't remember of enjoying a trip more than we did this from to San Diego. And you? Uh, oh, that that goes to me too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Again. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. This is a very nice day. Thank you. I believe that the highest position that anybody in this world can aspire to is to be a truly good citizen of his own country, his own free country, and be a part of the self-governing mechanisms of that country. somewhat oversimplified possibly, this is the only basic purpose of Freedom's Foundation, to become and be a truly good citizen. Good night. Of the United States. We turn our attention very largely to the youth. They are the ones that will take over soon all of us. They will be responsible for this country, for its spiritual, for its economic, material, and military strength. But for just this evening, rather than talking about that decade that's to come, 
Let me talk about the present today. Now, what is each of us doing to make certain that we are doing our full duty to the United States of America? Are we truly studying the issues of today? Not the partisan issues. I didn't want to push the political button this evening, something that an old ex-politician is very quick to respond to. I just want to talk, what should each of us do to fulfill it? Because those duties are married, none of us can do all of them. But each can find his own niche. Because, let us remember, our security is not to be found merely in planes and guns and ships and tanks and bombs and missiles. We know that. And a matter of fact, military men are the first ones to recognize. With all these things, you could have them in any number you want, without the morale, without the will, without the determination to use them properly. Do them to preserve the peace. And without the economic strength to keep them healthy and up to date, then we would be nothing. Each of us can do his part in, not in talking about the decay of the number of airplanes or the ship that we should have, although the papers often make the, the headline trusted. That is for the professional. But we can study the United States and her relations with us. We can understand, the, we can study United States and her faithful adherence to the great principles that were set down for us by our, by our founding fathers in the Declaration, in the Constitution, in Lincoln's address at Gettysburg. We can study those and apply what we learn from them to the problems of today. We can come up with common sense solutions and support those people that are so dedicated and are studying with us. So thank you. If this is true, then all of the problems that they for us today have a moral aspect as well as the material or economic. We must make each of them must make this decision for him. Is it right or is it not right? Is the leader that we choose to follow, is he right? Is he expressing something that is expedient or is uh, 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 vote-getting? Or is it right? My friend, I believe that people such as yourself that have given yourselves the title, the uplift, doing something for a little boy. I heard this evening Right now, they're doing something for a little blind boy of Mexican extraction. I can't tell you how much I'd like to belong. This is the kind of thing that gives us the right to say, I am an American. I am an American that's trying to do his full duty as an American citizen. I'm trying to understand the problems of my fellow citizens and of, my, of the other nations of this hemisphere and indeed of the entire free world. And in doing so, I will do my best to support those pops, those people who will say, man is free, all men are created in doubt by their creator. It's
as long as we do this, no matter what we are, yeah, whether it be work or ringing bells or making sure that everybody's registered and doing his part in making our system work, or is devoting money, whatever he does, let him do it with his heart, with his head, with his hands, and for it.